is finally here! I've been so addicted to college football that low-key this was kind of on the back burner. I've been playing Madden every single year for the last 10 straight years. And for the first time ever, I didn't know it dropped. Like, I, I legitimately woke up and someone texted me and was like, yo, what do you think of the game? And I was like, what game are you talking about? Hey, this could be an amazing thing though. College football has been incredible. And if they were able to cross some of that over to Madden 25, I think this is gonna be an insanely good Madden. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. This is my first look at Madden 25. Let's see how it is. Now, this was one big thing I was wondering about. You guys know that in college football, they have that revamped passing. I was wondering if they would include that in Madden. The answer is no. I'm gonna go with placement and power because that's what I used in 24. Although they did include college's kicking meter, which I don't know if I I want that considering how hard it is in college. I always play on competitive. I want cross play on and I would like to favor visuals. That's a lot more than they've given us in the past. This is, I am really liking this so far. Ultimate preseason. Okay, out the gates, I do not like how the ultimate team cards look. I cannot say I'm a fan of that. Now I will say as much as I like ultimate team, I do not want to start with the ultimate team today. Superstar could be a crazy place to start because you have the ability to import your player from college football 25. I wonder if I still have the save of my Heisman quarterback because I could import him in here. Looks like superstar has the same options we've always seen. You can be a quarterback, halfback, wide receiver, linebacker, or corner. I imagine I'm going to be playing a lot of franchise this year. I'm actually going to start here. Ooh. Dude, I think for the first time in like five years, they actually updated this UI. This like team selection screen literally looked the same for so long. It's finally updated. Let's go. This looks a lot more like the college football one. Looks like they were working together to some degree. So that's really, really good news. Damn, this is sick. It shows you how many hidden dev, X Factor, Superstar Star, and normal dev players are on each team. That's actually so clutch. I'd want to rebuild the rosters with the most hidden devs. Those are always the most fun. Like the Rams got four hidden devs. Packers got four. Oh, that's sick. Five Washington commanders could be a sick rebuild. Five hidden devs, one X factor, two superstar. You get Jaden Daniels. That's gonna be a sick rebuild. Might have to be my first. I'm obviously gonna select the lines though. I mean, come on. Wait, low key, let's do a fantasy draft. I want to see the player overalls, dude. I, I literally like leading up to Madden coming out, I've been in Europe for 12 straight days. And the day it dropped, I, I literally just got back. Ooh, this looks sick. They really updated this. You can see each division standings on this page. I'm so, I've been wanting a page like this in Dynasty for so long, just to see everyone's record like that. All right, hey, let's do a fantasy draft. Let's see how similar this is. Hey! What is this? Who is this corny ass fucking animator, bro? I feel like I'm watching National Geographic. Clock Purdy. Owns your poverty franchise, AR. That was actually fucking lit. What was this? Oh shit. Wait, they've got a little draft board now. This whole presentation is different. Oh my God, Tua is going five? I gotta pause the draft, hold up. So Mahomes, that makes sense. Lamar, Josh Allen, Joe Burrow. That's like the same four picks as last year. Tua is going five over Herbo. Brock's going seven, then Jalen Hurts, Dak, Sauce, Micah, Tyreek, Sertan, Jefferson, Garrett, CD Lamb. So I'm round one, pick 17. Wait, why is it saying Detroit pick 33? So that's wrong already. I've, we've found a visual bug already. I'm round one pick 17. It's calling, it, it's calling it round one pick 33, which is actually fucking hilarious because there's no such thing as a pick 33. Regardless though, I want to see who's available. They made the numbers actually bigger and easier to see, which I do appreciate. Let's look at the quarterbacks. Jimmy G, hello? Oh, scout status, no. You can sort, oh wow. There is a ton more sort options. I don't know how much franchise you guys play, but Holy shit, this is actually so nice. I can sort by dev trait. Ooh, wait a minute. What did they give Caleb Williams on a dev trait? Did they give him superstar? JJ, CJ Stroud. Okay, CJ Stroud's gotta be so good in this, no? I'm gonna draft CJ Stroud. Ah! What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Yo, he's got a lion's headband on. You know, okay, I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of sad that I'm getting so amped about this because I feel like, you know, low key, we could have had this for a long time, but that's fucking sick. Hey, and it's a good pick too. I made the right call at round one, pick 17. We take CJ Stroud. This is really cool. 
There's a new sort option called Scout Status, which I assume is like generally a good pick from this position, which Madden has always needed in franchise. Because if you don't play franchise all the time, you have no idea when or where you're supposed to be picking positions, right? Because if I sort by overall, there's a bunch of 99s in here. But Trent Williams doesn't usually go until like the fourth or fifth round, so you might get confused and take him early. Although I'm not going to lie, Christian McCaffrey here in the second is actually a nasty pick. I am definitely taking this. I think that's the first halfback off the board. So we got CJ Stroud and Christian McCaffrey right now. Look at Dan Campbell. <laughs> Hell yeah, Dan. You know that was a good pick, boy. That man, that man cooked us in the uh, NFC championship. It was the saddest day of my life. 99 elusive, 98 receiving. Also, he's an elusive back now. He's been a receiving back every Madden before. Okay, I'm gonna sim the rest of this draft because I want to see if abilities are any different. So, I don't know if... Whoa, that was a really fast sim. Holy shit. Damn, they actually overhauled this. That sim took eight, two seconds. Shit usually takes like almost a minute. Let me look at my roster here. So, who they give me? They get, So, CJ Sean McCaffrey was us. We got Jordan Addison, Paris Campbell, Darius Slayton, and who is this? Javon Bay UCF. I don't think his head scan's in the game yet. That doesn't look like it. I gotta figure out the OP hidden dev rookies before I do my online dynasty. Gave me Trey Smith, Taylor Moten, Rashawn Slater. Damn, they drafted me a great O-line. My defense gotta be slacking then, right? Yeah, my defense is slacking. Shit. Love and Reed, good safety. Xavier Howard, Jamel Dean, Tryon Shoyinka, Kyle Van Noy, Levante David. Yeah, we're pretty washed in the linebacker department. D-line's okay. I don't know this dude. Tavondre Sweat out of Texas. 75 overall hidden dev D tackle with 94 strength. Okay, what I want to see is abilities. So, if you played Madden 24, you'll remember that linebackers got an update in Mutt for an ability called Lurk Artist. That ability let your linebackers jump probably way too fucking high, like unrealistically high, but you could lurk like crazy with linebackers because of that ability. But in Madden 24, they did not update that in quick play or in franchise, meaning the lurk artist ability was exclusively in Mutt and nobody else got it. So I'm wondering if that is still the case. Oh my God, I think it's still the case. Okay, well either Levante David doesn't get it, but I don't think that's what it is. I don't think lurk artist is in franchise or quick play still. Frankly, if they took it out of Mutt, I'd be cool with that too. Let's sim to the Super Bowl. See what this looks like. Okay, I can tell you right now that the ability for this game of Sim is so much faster than it's ever been. I'm so impressed. Let's also be very clear about one thing. For the first time in my life, I am working with EA, but I refuse to do any legitimate glazing. If something pisses me off, I'm gonna tell you right out the gates. But so far with franchise, I am very impressed. I expected it to be copy paste of 24. All right, so this screen is slightly updated. I think this is easier to like absorb. I like this a lot better. So pass our leaders were Herbert, Love, and Rogers. You know what I like about that? It looks like the playbooks definitely got an overhaul because all you would ever see for pass yard leaders was Dallas Cowboys, Kansas City Chiefs because those are the two OP playbooks. But now you're seeing Jets, Rams, Dolphins. That's kind of crazy. Micah Parsons had 27 sacks? Yeah, he just broke the fucking record. Justin Matabuike had 21. TJ Watt had 18. Derrick Henry had 1,700 yards rushing for Green Bay. Saquon looks like Atlanta's playbook is still really good good for running backs. 1,600 for Saquon. You see that a lot. And Josh Jacobs on the Titans had 1,600. Trenton Simpson for the Saints. Trenton Simpson was a dog for me last year. He was so good. And Nico Collins, Puka Nakua, Garrett Wilson, passing yard leaders. Looks like CJ Stroud had 3,200 on 23 and 8. Not bad. Christian McCaffrey had 1,175, five touchdowns. We also had Brian Robinson Jr. I didn't even see that. Addison 909. Slayton was okay. Paris Campbell was okay. Lions playbook looks decent. So we were nine and eight. Not sure that we made the playoffs. Minnesota 10 and 7. Green Bay 11 and 6. Washington cooked. 12 and 5. Atlanta was insanely good. Did Atlanta finally win a Super Bowl? Dude, it's a Chargers Falcons Super Bowl. It's actually really exciting to see. You could virtually never see the Chargers making the Super Bowl in 24. Upgrading players. Is this the same as it's always been? This is the same as it's always been. So if you played a lot of college football, you notice that you can't actually manually upgrade your players. They just auto progress as they play. Madden is still the same format. And I got to say, I like the Madden format a lot better. I like being able to choose what my players are getting better at. Like CJ Stroud, technically a field general. General, but I really like going improviser. So I can put all his points in, in improviser and make him an improviser quarterback if I wanted to. 
So, and that's exactly how I would do this. Also, if you don't play a lot of franchise, you can set this to auto. You can automatically have them progress so that as you're simming games, they're not wasting your skill points. Wow, look at that, dude. McCaffrey, after just one year, went from a 99 down to a 96. He regresses fast. Here's our team at the start of year two. Yeah. <laughs> if this was a rebuild, I would be cooked. This is no bueno. All right, let's get in some reps. It's Lions at Packers. We're headed to Lambeau Field. Do they have the sick uniforms? Please tell me they do. Yes. Yes, yes, they have them, yes. All right, good. I was gonna be mad. <laughs> Derrick Henry on the Packers. McCaffrey, oh, there's Jordan Addison on the line. That looks weird. Jordan Addison on the lines looks weird. There's CJ Stroud and Matt Stafford. Oh yeah, they do have new broadcasters this year. So if you guys like commentary, that's definitely good. I just don't give a shit about commentary. I turn that shit off. But this had Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Ooh, presentation is slightly different. I mean, there is a new kickoff, so that makes sense. That's pretty dope though. I like how this looks. All right, they're bringing me in. Let's start out with an inside zone. Gameplay wise, ooh, this is how it looks. Okay, scoreboard on the bottom is elite. I love the scoreboard on the bottom. Let's go fully zoom like I'm in, like I'm in career mode. McCaffrey, edge, broken tackle, too fast. I'm not in, but almost. All right, dive right. Oh, look at the tattoos. They actually got his tattoos. Have they ever done that properly before? Yo, McCaffrey's tattoos look clean. Hey, a little team Selly. I know that was two plays, but that felt really good. I'll play all offense today. All right, let's see how this looks. Now, do I still need Hot Route Master? That's gonna be my biggest complaint. What abilities does Stroud have right now? Where can I find those? Stroud has Fearless, Inside Deadeye, and Lofting Deadeye. My biggest issue with Madden for a long, long time, was you can't hot route players effectively unless you have hot route master. It doesn't look like you need it anymore. Unless McCaffrey has an ability. He has, by, he has backfield master. Yeah, you still can't fully hot route. Okay, but good news, you can give wide receivers corner routes without hot route master, which is good. It was so annoying that the only way to put up a corner route, oh, dot, was if you had hot route master. That shit was stupid. Looks like that's no longer the case. We're low key cooking right now. I mean, I'm playing the computer, so let's not, let's not pretend like I'm God here, but step up in the pocket. Stroud, run through him. Stroud, come on, baby. Hey, hey, hey. Lines are out big time. All right, let's see how it looks when you watch it. People ask me this all the time. If you want to watch your players just play, you have to adjust your sim speed to slow and then start watching. Yeah, this looks okay. Honestly, I think college football does a significantly better like sim watching presentation, but this is this is okay too. Hey, if this could be the score in real life when we play the Packers for the first time, I'm gonna be a happy camper. Looks like we are just smash mouth football, chewing the clock and catching this dub. There's McCaffrey, first down. <laughs> we are just milking the fucking clock on him. Hey, hey, get in there! Run that score up, boy. Let him know. Utter domination from the Lions. We love to see that. All right, let's check out Ultimate Team next. Thankfully, they give you a skip tutorial option. Thank you. Do not make me do anything. I just want a ball. Now, we do have the pre-order bundle, so let's check it out. You get an exclusive. I don't actually know what this is. I think it's a jersey, right? Okay, I'm just gonna say, dude, these look like shit. This looks like shit. I swear to God, Madden Mobile 16 had some of the sickest looking cards. I know I'm a bit nostalgia on that, right? But like, this looks like it belongs in Madden 19. I'm not a fan. Oh shit, what are these? Looks like the AKA promo is back for sure. The AKA promo is one of the... That was sick. This card looks like shit, but that animation was sick. Ooh! That looks like utter shit. Oh my... Dude, why would you do my boy so dirty like that? I I'm going D-hop here. Tyron Matthews good, but hype matters a lot in Madden. And, and Tyron's a little short. Hall of Fame pre-order pack? I don't know what this is but that shit went hard too. Julius Peppers, Dwight Freeney, Devin Hester. I'm gonna go Devin Hester, then I have a kick returner too, which may be more important this year with the new kickoff rules. You get a free Christian McCaffrey because he's the cover athlete. It's an 81, that's kind of low for Mutt right now. Looks like strategy items still exist. Never been a big fan of these. I'll take strong arm. And I always go the corner ones. I always try to get man and zone coverage up. This looks the same as we've always seen. It's their house rules. Regular season, head to head. Whoa, wait, a legitimate head to head ranked. Kick off this ranked session by playing your five placement matches to secure your starting rank, win games, and climb the ranks from a legendary top 100 player. So they finally have a legitimate ranking system. Just like every, you know how every single video game you've ever played has a legitimate ranking system. League of Legends, Valorant, even Call of Duty has it now. This is pretty cool to see. My only concern, I don't know if you can get the playoffs in this. I'm wondering how I'm gonna do Wheel of Mutt. I assume I'll still be in regular season. Yeah, it looks like 
looks like you can still do regular season here. And then there's Mutt Champions. We use Mutt Champions all the time last year when people would rage quit. 16 wins will get you free entry into the following week's gauntlet. 16 wins? That's aggressive. 16 wins is aggressive. Hey, if you are if you grind though, you can get it. Looks like there's a limited Lane Johnson in the store right now. Lineups look similar. Players look similar. Looks like all they did was they moved this screen from the right side to the left. Oh, please tell me. Oh my God, they finally did it. Okay, this is such a niche thing to be excited about. But before, when you were subbing players in between positions, it took so long. But now, if I want my backup outside linebacker to be my starting linebacker, it looks like you hold X and then just move them. Oh my God, I've wanted this for literally six years. Thank you. Yes! Okay, that's actually, that's a great start. Offense, oh, you only get three AP? Three AP on offense. Looks like hopefully abilities will be more balanced this year. Dude, I, do you guys remember when it was like, it was like 16. It used to be 16 AP on offense and 16 on defense. Something gross like that. I don't remember exactly, but. All right, that's beautiful. We have to open packs. You knew I was gonna open packs. There's a preseason platinum pack to, uh, it's mid. Preseason early bird pack. A 78, an 82, an 81, an 82, or an 8. Oh, they're doing the or shit again. No. Dude, the, the or shit pisses me off. So you could either get limited Lane Johnson, you have a 30% chance at that, or you're just going to get some. I I'll go for it, but I miss the days when you could just pull absolute heat in a pro pack, bro. I mean, I guess it's still possible. Oh, shit. <laughs> My first ever pack is a limited. Hey. Hey, well, I talked all that shit about ore, and it looks like it. No way, I just. Okay. It was the same animation. I thought maybe I somehow just got two limiteds. And that's our platinum player. Clean. Aaron Jones. Bet. Bet. Holy shit. We just pulled probably one of the best cards in the game right now. Rizul Douglas. 6'2, 85 speed. Yeah, that's a nasty card. Selling for. So he quick sells for 350. He's selling for about his price. So it looks like he's actually pretty common. That's good to see. Just pulled an 86 limited out the gates. This stuff looks standard. Training can get you preseason or training shuffle, season specials, and season tickets. So you can just outright buy these upgrade players. They used to do this. Cool. Okay, so let me see the field pass then. The field pass is the best way for no money spent to like earn players and coins. So I kind of want to see what these rewards are. Looks like you get a ton of players and a ton of tickets. Damn, a lot more than before. Doesn't look like there's one player that you're upgrading. So you usually do with that. <laughs> I can't believe we just pulled Result Douglas. Okay, so if you did the pre-order, I highly recommend spending your points on this because the pre-order automatically gives you 4,600 points. And the starter team bundle is in in like probably the best value you'll ever get from EA. This thing will make your team competitive instantly. And then obviously you, you grind all the solos, you can go buy players off the auction house and make it even better. But yeah, that's super good. Yeah, I wanna see what are the best players in the game, right? Like said the highest overalls are 85s and 86s. There's a big difference between Mutt and Cut right there. Dude, from day one in Cut, there was the 90 overall Luther Burden. Like from day one. Common, uncommon, elite hero, champion, and limited. Whoa, quality is different too. So here's 86, 87. There's Lane Johnson and Razul Douglas, and that's it. I mean, granted, I'm technically playing early access right now. The game hasn't technically come out, but. And then 84s, 85s, there's Raheem Mostert, Amari Cooper, Stafford, Javon Hargrave, and Feitu. Malafonwu got one. What about the core elites? Where are the core elites? Oh, these are core elites. So the 84s are the core elites. Those are the best base cards in the game right now. There's a Kyle Juszczyk, Crosby, Tucker, Zach Martin, Sauce Gardner. Ooh. Tyree. This is probably such a nasty card. Yeah, that's gotta be the fastest card in the game right now. Tyree kill. All right, you guys know ultimate team. Let's see what else we got. Let's see what the overalls are. The Lions are an 88. That's the highest we've been in so long. Jets are an 86. Giants are 75, 92 for San Fran. Panthers, Patriots, who's the worst team? Ravens are 91. That's gonna be a gross team to use. Roquan, Derek, Hed <laughs> they're gonna get spam, bro. That's gonna be the most played team online, I'd have to guess, if not the Chiefs. Texans are an 86. Damn, every team's got a really good overall. 79 for the Broncos, 87 for the Browns. Damn, Buccaneers 84. Cardinals are probably the worst team, 76. Dude, you know what, low key, I wanna see what Marvin Harrison looks like in this game. I feel like he's gonna be like a 76 over Overall? I think that's what Caleb Williams was. Oh shit! It's a 79 overall. That might be one of the highest starting rookie overalls I've ever seen. Six foot three with 94 speed. That's so good. McBride's an 82. I honestly feel like that's a little low. Yeah, this team is so ass. Oh, this team is so bad. <laughs> shit, dude. Final thing, Superstar. I want to see if there's anything new here. Superstar was fun last year. I enjoyed playing it, but there was not a lot of depth. It felt very repetitive, even after like one or two games. 
names. Let's go quarterback. I'll be John Madden. Oh, this is totally different. So archetypes, the same that we're used to. Field general, scrambler, gunslinger, improviser. It shows you your max potential in each stat. Power runner. You could be a power runner quarterback. That's new. You could get 98 speed as a scrambler and you'd start out with 88. Damn. You can actually customize the maxes. So I could take these points out of spin move and juke move and I could put them in whatever I want. Oh, so I could be fast as shit. I low key would like want some points and stamina, kinda. No, I'd probably do this and then just increase my accuracies. Let my accuracies go up to 89. Ooh, so I could be a 99 speed scrambler. Okay, I like that. Now your size does matter. It'll change your maximum attributes. So if I decided to be a seven foot tall scrambler QB, my highest speed could be 95. But if I was five foot six, I could get 99 speed. I could be 5'11", 190 and still get 98 speed. Six foot 190. Yeah, that's that's basically Lamar Jackson, no? Body type slim. Oh, that changes it so much. I'd have to go slim. There's new abilities too. Immovable object. This looks a lot better than did last year. I like this. Here's the only issue though. Since I made him like this, his maximum abilities are just bronzes and silvers because of the way that I built him. But if I did like a standard field general, I could could get gold in a lot of these abilities if I was a standard. Looks like Scrambler just cannot gold out abilities. That's kind of a bummer. Gunslinger can do it. What if I was Gunslinger, but I was slim? I could get 92 speed like this. I'd have to customize the skills though. So we take a little bit out of throw power, a little bit out of deep accuracy, break sack. I don't really care about that. Can add some there and then max out speed. That's elite. So I could have 98 speed. I could get silver in all those abilities and gold tier pressure cooker. That's sick. Okay. Okay, bet. So here's my quarterback. I'm a field general who can reach 88 speed. No, I'm a field general who can reach 98 speed. It says plays like Tom Brady, but runs like Lamar Jackson. This is where you spend skill points. This looks the same as what I'm used to. What is quests? What the fuck is this? Oh, so as you achieve experience. So right now I'm a prospect. Then I'm a breakout, then I'm a rising star, then I'm a star, superstar, future legend. Damn! Looks like you unlock abilities this way. Okay, bet. So there's showdown. We know showdown. This is where you just kind of goof around and do all that crazy shit. You get really good XP that way. The league is what I want to do. Straight into the scouting combine. Is there no cutscenes? Okay, you guys got to let me know how you feel about this. Because I have straight up always hated the corny cutscenes and these like forced dialogue options and all this bullshit. Bullshit. I've hated it. But some people do think it's like very immersive and they really like it. I think this is objectively better. Yeah, it looks like you literally hop. Oh, hell yes. You just go straight into it. Okay, I did not drip my guy out at all, but I will do a full superstar series. So we'll be able to drip out then. Three, two, one. Come on. Come on. Oh, wait, shit. I forgot to run. I forgot to run. Dig deep. Dig deep. Dig deep. You guys ran a four, four, five. It's actually fast, no? Wait. Your times actually matter, dude. And Madden 24, it didn't even matter what you got in this. You could be the worst 40 yard dash ever. By doing a really good 40, my speed went up plus three and my acceleration went up plus three. If I got an A, I could go to plus five. That's sick. So that I assume this is gonna boost my strength. How many reps at 225 we going for, boys? A little scrambler QB action. Yep, this is the same. Oh, I didn't even get that rep. I didn't close out the rep. I, 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 push. Push, push, push. 14, can we go 15? Can we go 15? Damn, kind of looked like I did go for 15 though. I locked that out. That was well beyond an A grade though. Plus five strength, plus five stamina. Oh, that was money. That was money. Eight feet, nine inches. I didn't know they were measuring me. Oh no, that was my broad jump. Oh. <laughs> Although apparently that was actually dog shit. <laughs> So, okay, I'll have 69 jump. It's cool. Good cut. Yeah, mediocre cut. Just kidding. That was absolute money. Change direction plus five. Now this one's easy. You just gotta make the you gotta make the placement and your boys gotta catch it. It's really cool that these actually matter. I used to think it was so corny to do these drills because there is no purpose. Money. What a beaut. Cut me across the middle, baby girl. Beautiful. Oh, just outside. Loki not the easiest. Oh my goodness, stop it. Just give him a lofter. Make it easy. You can't mess that up. It's impossible. Is that Odunze? That was Odunze. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I should have customized his face and tattoos. No lie. Damn. So just from doing the combine, I got so many upgrades straight to level three. It's time for the NFL draft. This looks sick. This looks so much better. No. Am I going to the Saints? <laughs> 
That's actually kind of sick, dude. I'm ready, coach. Ooh, it looks like I went kind of near the top of the second round. Damn, they let me fall. Dude, you know what I want to figure out? Like the next thing I got to do? Because you can import your player from College Football 25. If I were to import into Madden and I was like Heisman three straight years in college, would I go round one, pick one? I really hope that's the case. Dude, nine mil for four years? Hell yeah, brother. I do think a requesting a trade option needs to be in this game, but it would take me a while to actually figure out if that was the case. Damn, am I not a starter? I wonder if they'd start me. Dude, I'm a 65. I'm kind of a bum. I'm a 65 overall. All right, superstar. Looks pretty similar to what it was last year with some solid improvements and presentation improvements. Before we go, I got to get a game in. Quick match. I'm going to go with the random team. The Jacksonville Jaguars. Sure. Who wants to bet I get matched up against the Baltimore Ravens? I would. Uh, oh, I just know it, dude. I know it. All right, we got T-Law back here. Evan Engram's a star. Davis. Is it Etienne or Etienne? I'll never know. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, I really like how this movement feels. This feels really good. I thought it was going to be a little arcadey, but it's not. Ooh, that was caught? Oh, shit! Yes, it's out of Oh, I got worried. I am 100% certain that the playbooks have been severely updated. Some of these plays never existed before. And that's a nasty play. Damn, good tackle. Trying to get my stick work down. Oh, Engram. You ain't guarding that man coverage. Come on now. Hey, okay. Stop and go is not easy. Tackling's a lot better in the open field than it has been. This Dude, in college football, open field tackling is one of the hardest things in the world. Second and 13. We're going no huddle here. Shit. Okay, T-Law. T-Law take three. Dude, this guy I'm playing is speaking like German or something. 100% playing a German. Sp oh, Engram. Engram. Hey! Oh, he's not quite in. All right, let's no huddle inside zone. He knows, but does oh. it matter? It certainly does. Holy shit. T-Law. 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 Let's go, baby. That's our first online head-to-head -to -head touchdown. It's with the Jacksonville Jaguars. I'll take it. That felt, dude, that felt so good. I'm so geeked up right now. One thing I'll say for sure, it's a lot slower than college football. Significantly slower. College football is like fucking lightning speed, man. Well, he, he simply can't guard this in goal line, so. Eight to zero. Oh, the new kickoff. So this is just like college, but there's a much bigger margin for error, which probably makes sense because pro kickers are so much better than college kickers. And then EA was talking a ton this year about this new feature called Boom Tech, like making hit sticks more realistic. Meaning if your hit stick isn't dead on, they'll bounce the hit more often than not. But that one, you see, you saw it over my player's head. You saw it there, it said ideal timing. So it looks like that was a solid hit stick. Second and 10, it's gotta be a pass. Can't go 87, can't go here. He's gonna go up to DK. Dude, you know in Europe, they like love the Seattle Seahawks. There is so many European countries where their favorite, pl their favorite team is the Seattle Seahawks. So I'm not shocked that this German guy's playing as Seattle. Pretty sure like the number one jersey sold abroad was like Russell Wilson. Seattle Seahawks, Russell Wilson. No, you can't. I know you want to, but you can't. Oh, dude, it's domination right now. Yeah, this isn't your pansy ass European football, bud. This is real football! Motion crossbows. This pl the, dude, shout out playbook team. This is a sick play. Yep, his users got this response. Skirt, skirt. It wasn't that that didn't feel as good as I wanted it to. That's okay. Jaguars are nice. Oh, great block on this side. And I'm gonna juke him out. Hey! T-Law's got two. It's a big fantasy day for him. All right, boys. I don't want this video to be way too long, but Madden 25. First impressions, this feels like Madden 24, but better. There's graphical overhauls, franchise looks cleaner, superstar got updates, and it looks like abilities are toned down. That is legitimately all that I would have asked for. Sorry that EA's cock is so far down my throat, but I'm gonna give this an eight and a half out of 10 right now. That's my first impressions. We got a lot of time, boys. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed Enjoyed. I'll be honest with you. I have no idea what my posting cadence is gonna be because now we have college football and Madden And I've already been daily uploading when it was just Madden I don't know what the hell we're gonna do, but we're gonna figure it out I'm gonna get you wheel of mutt. I'm gonna try my best to juggle it without giving you too much I don't know, but I love you. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace